to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about how to upgrade existing Angular applications to Angular 14. From today onwards, we will start implementing code and actual hands-on. We will start with learning how to use Angular CLI to install brand new Angular application and how to run it. This is part four of the series and make sure that you follow along if you have any doubts, if you need any help, technical help, training, job support, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. If you like my work and tutorials, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. So this is the playlist that we are continuing to build. So make sure that you go through every episode in order to learn and master Angular with me. All right, so we are starting to learn Angular CLI today, but before uh, we do that, there should be certain checks or prerequisites that we will do in order to make sure that we have everything up and running, right? So you need a basically a system or an operating system, which in case can be a Windows, Mac, Linux, any, any system which has a operating system. Now Node.js uh, is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment that you will require because we will run the commands we will install packages and much more. So basically, if you want to run Angular, you need these things set up. You can download it at nodejs.org. Then you need, once you download Node.js, you would also come with something called NPM, that is Node Package Manager. These are the modules or the packages that are required for most of the things that we will do with Angular, Express, Node, or any JavaScript-based environment. Finally, you will also need a editor, code editor, in my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is what I think uh, most of developers prefer nowadays and work with. So make sure that you also get these um, uh, packages, modules, and software. How do you verify? So this is my Visual Studio Code editor. Um, you can open command prompt in on yours and run in node-v to check if you have node installed you can write npm hyphen v that is checking the version of npm you should see 6.14 all right so i have the node and npm installed on my machine that's good to go i have the editor which i'm going to use which is the visual studio code editor so this are this is a basic thing that you require to start your work all right so how do we start right so the first and the foremost step is to install angular cli now, CLI stands for Command Line Interface. That means it allows us to quickly run some commands, set up application up and running, and run it. Right. So most of the um, modern frameworks comes with some kind of a CLI tooling, which will help us uh, do the routine job easily. All right. So let's get oh, go ahead and first install Angular CLI. This is an important step before you get started. Now, uh, a word of caution. A lot of friends of um, have written to me saying that when try when they try to install Node.js, uh, especially on Windows, they are getting a security-related error. If you are getting that, write to me in uh, you have my email ID, and I will give you a fix for that. All right. That being said, assuming that you have all the software, editor, tools, now let's go ahead and run our first command to install the ang new brand new application. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Angular 14 and I'm going to do all my processing inside that. All right, I have my cutter, so I'm going to into Arc, uh, we have to go into Angular 14, okay? And that's where I am at and it's empty directory as we can see, so we'll run the command npm install at the rate Angular, Angular, slash CLI. Now, if you notice here, I have used hyphen G. That is, if you want to install this version of Angular CLI globally, when I say globally, it means that across all the folders and apps. If you want to install only in a particular folder, stick to this command minus hyphen G. NPM install at the rate Angular CLI. That's all. It will install only in this particular folder. Now, if you don't give any version in front of it, it will install the latest version which is there. In our case, it is 14, okay? So Angular install, see, you can see that Angular CLI 14.2.7 is installed, all right? So now that we have installed Angular, 
you won't see anything except for the package file right what we have done is only the angular CLI we have installed now we need to create an angular application and run it so the command for that is ng new project name so let's say I'm going to say ng new we are going to build a app called um, you can cho choose any app that of your choice but um, let me think of a good thing that we can build um, say invoice right or I'm going to build a native thing and I'm going to call it arc invoice right that's an application name I'm going to give because we can build re reactive forms and stuff like that so I'm going to build this application uh, it says command not found ng command not found so let's check in the directory if we have everything that we have we have this so if you don't see that if you are in bash so go back to bash and you are in this is an errors you run when you're running in Mac but you should not see that if you're running on a Windows uh, thing so I'm going to say angular 14 and I'm going to navigate inside this and I'm going to say ng hyphen V so you need to specify a command before moving to use so hyphen version will tell us which you need to specify a command before moving on available commands let's see what it is if that's something that we can resolve arc invoice yep so all right so this is what it is um, I have given ng new project name then it will give you start giving you options like would you like to add routing yes with CSS we'll be using SCSS because I'll show you how to write some cool stuff around it so it will auto generate the project folder it will generate all the basic components that are required it will generate basic module that you will require to get started with nothing fancy but these are all the essential things that your application needs to get started we'll give it a quick 30 seconds to complete this job of installing the packages okay it's done cool so now that we have done it our basic application is created and we can now run it and check the application all right so you can see this arc invoice is created you can see all the folders and basic components that are here we will go through the entire folder understand each uh, importance of each file and folder here but that's for the next episode today we will just focus on running this so now that you have generated the project the next thing you should do is navigate inside that folder that is arc invoice in my case it can be any name for you once you are in the folder just do ng serve now what this will do is it will start building the application it will generate the bundles package it minification and then it will start running your code and that is a basic default code that you would get okay so now some of the important things to note here every angular application will spit out these files it will have a index.html it will have runtime.js main.js styles and CSS polyfills and vendor.js these are the five JS files it will include and a HTML that's why it is called a single page application because there is only one HTML okay I'll show you all of this when we come to build side of it for today all you should understand is I have run a command ng serve okay ng serve is the one command that you will run to run your angular application now open your browser type localhost 4200 okay and you can see here your application says localhost 4200 and we will type here and see localhost so make sure that you write the spelling mistake you don't do that okay so once you do that you have your angular basic application is up and running okay if you see your you, if you see the screen give a good pat on your back because you have achieved the first step of getting started with angular you have successfully installed angular CLI you have successfully created a new project and you have successfully run the application this is the most basic thing to get started with angular CLI 
for today i'll only stop you here go ahead do this job get it up and running get your thing ready in the next episode i'll walk you through all the angular cli commands that you can do to make your life easy and your application for development faster these are absolute essential for you to join so please join me in the next episode where we will cover all the angular cli commands and we will start using them thank you so much for joining if you like my work in this uh, tutorial please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode